Apology not accepted. A Democrat wasting no time blaming the massive Oklahoma twister on global warming. When cyclones tear up Oklahoma and hurricanes swamp Alabama and wildfires scorch Texas, you come to us, the rest of the country, for billions of dollars to recover. And the damage that your polluters and deniers are doing doesn't just hit Oklahoma and Alabama and Texas. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse making that irresponsible statement literally seconds after the deadly twister hit. He said he's sorry, but Jonathan, you say taxpayers will be sorry if Democrats like him get their way. What do you mean? Well, this is straight out of the book of Rom, Eric. You know, never let a crisis go to waste. And Barbara Boxer, Frank Lautenberg, of course, Al Gore are always quick to blame any natural catastrophe, which of course is terrible, on man-made global warming. It's really argument through emotion, right? They they look at these terrible pictures of devastation. They think, don't you care about these people? If you do, then you're going to pass these these laws and regulations, which are profoundly anti-man. I mean, thank God for gasoline and oil to help clean up the terrible mess from this devastation. And I tell you. The Greens have been wrong on every single prediction they've made since it was called the ecology movement back in the 1950s. Kirsten, what about it? Any, any defending this Democrat? Well, you know, it's funny. I don't even, I, I did a little research on it, and, and global warming people don't even really believe that uh, tornadoes are caused by global warming. So, uh, you know, they will say that droughts are, you know, are caused by global warming and hurricanes, but on tornadoes, that's not even something that they would really even say. So I, I'm not sure why he said it, and certainly the timing of it was terrible. Yeah, Kimberly, <laughs> the timing, we showed a side-by-side -side screen uh, as the twister was literally hitting more Oklahoma. Sheldon Whitehouse was on the Senate floor delivering a global warming speech. Yes, uh, this was ill-timed and insensitive. The guy has this n no clue, um, but he's not the only one. And what we've seen is the Democrats and liberals using opportunities like this tragedy that has befallen people, families, children that have been killed, and trying to piggyback it for his own political agenda, which is unconscionable. Joe Biden spoke to the uh, Coast Guard graduates this week, and he used that opportunity to say that um, offshore drilling threatens national security security and our climate to a bunch of Coast Guard that, you know, they're guarding the waters out there where we're doing the drilling. They don't miss any opportunity right. to advance their goals. Wayne, what about you weighing on this? Well, I, you know, I, I'm a little different than that. <laughs> I don't think we know that, for example, that, that the temperature has risen 1.4% since 1880. We know that Glacier National Park now has only 27 glaciers when in 1910 it had over 150 glaciers. We know the globe is warming. We know all of that. So we're not going to argue about what is, uh, the question is whether it's anthropogenic or not. In other words, is this man-made or is this natural? And it doesn't really matter because there is no argument that can say where well, you can take a lift out an isolated incident like a like a tornado or a hurricane or whatever it is and say this has to do with global warming. That's mm -hmm. nuts. So they got to get and, the and, science and, right first and then come back and talk about how you correct it. Jonathan? And, and I have to say, Eric, I think it's always pretty despicable the way that many on the left kind of trot out terrible, horrific images, whether right. it's from natural destruction or victims of gun violence, as, again, that appeal to emotion to, to pass this, these types of regulations and laws. I mean, one fact we do know is, is that the more carbon we've burned, the better humans' lives have become. I mean, longer lifespan, healthier, wealthier in almost every way. So, you know, the greenhouse gas emissions that people like, like Lautenberg fight against are actually helping mankind in innumerable ways. That's why we need more of them. Last thought, Kirsten. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just, um, I, I don't see how yeah. how greenhouse gases are helping uh, the world. And, and well, if well you, our standard of living you, has you, our, our standard of living has risen. Our, our GDP is rising. I, I think that's what Jonathan's uh, alluding to. Not because to. of greenhouse gases. Well, not that's because not, of it, but, that's, that's, <laughs> but, but certainly not. is not causation. So uh, you know, but I I don't think I think to like say that it's despicable for for liberals to uh, look for opportunities to talk about things that they think are important doesn't make sense to me. I think the timing is important. Okay. Okay. But look, you know, I support gun control, and right. that uh, it's not because I'm you, despicable. I, I think that no, no but you know what, Kirsten, we, 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 we have to go. We can't we can't do this, kids. guys. We don't that have time is. to do this, this whole discussion. But bringing trotting out families from Newtown right in, 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 in a gun debate was was despicable in my mind. We got to leave it despicable. there. We're say thank yeah. you very.